We have talked over and over again on this program about the nanny state. I, for one, am tired of the government knows best attitude, and it's getting worse and worse every year. There's a new book that is a revealing look at the nanny state and a whole lot more. It is called Liberal Fascism, joined once again by its author, Jonah Goldberg. Um, the nanny state. When I saw um, a, a, a story come out of California about Californians, many of them, actually willing for the government to control the thermostat in their house, I thought, oh my gosh, what have we come to? Yeah, no, I love that because it was, it was a perfect metaphor. They literally wanted the state to control the air they breathe. You know, I mean, yeah. it, was, it was perfect. And um, and we're seeing more and more of that just around the world. Uh, in Canada, uh, you have people being denied surgeries. In Brit Great Britain, you have people being denied surgeries. Uh, if they're if they're fat, they're just simply right. saying you don't deserve well, these kind of surgeries. In Mississippi, they were talking about uh, a new law where restaurants would have to refuse service if you were obese. You couldn't have certain things. Did yeah. you read that? No, I missed you, that one. You, yeah. did, you wouldn't have to give them service yeah. if they were obese. What is that? Yeah, no, and, and it's, it's important because there, there, there are two things that are going on. One is there's a, there's a very serious snobbishness to the progressive mindset. Uh, this idea that we need to take care of the little people, the little people can't control their own lives, um, and therefore we know what's best for them. And then there's actually a sort of a green eye shade public policy issue here, which is that the more the government is picking up the tab for your health care, um, the more uh, the people running the government feel uh, obligated or, or, or uh, permitted uh, to determine how you run your own life well, because they're picking up the tab. But you know what? That one actually makes sense. That one actually kind of works because if we're paying for health care and you're doing something stupid, well, then I, don't, I shouldn't have to pay for you. Right, but then we but, should stop paying for health care. Exactly right. <laughs> you know? Exactly right. I mean, and you look from issue after issue after issue. Wherever there is a problem, you know, when, when, when Hillary Clinton says that she's not for big government, then why is it when, there's not almost a single social problem that she doesn't have a government program for? Mm -hmm. Why is it that progressives, their answer to any social problem is an expanded role for government? Well, just last week they were talking about... Um Oh, what was it? The trailers uh, for Katrina victims. Right, right, right. That they have them all in, and and they're trying to get them out because the air has formaldehyde in it, and you know people are getting sick. And they said well, the government is not telling us the truth. They're telling us it's no big deal. They've been they've been passing this off. And I thought to myself, this is a government program. Here it is. This is the way it works. And yet people still want. That nanny state. Right. It's only going to get worse when they control everything. Right, right. And, and, that, and, that, and it's, you know, what is the old proverb about, you know, um, if you're digging, all, the sign of insanity is, you know, you're digging a hole and you keep digging to get out of it. You yeah. know, um, whenever we run into one of these, you know, unintended consequences of, you know, and well-intentioned um, unintended consequences of one of these government programs, the response seems to be, oh, more government programs. Barack Obama's solution for our education problems in this country is to say, well, we haven't spent enough on education. We've been spending, you know, we've been spending money on education. <laughs> we, we have spent enough money on ed education, and you will get quite an education. And the, the truth on fascism and its history and the connection to the progressive movement in his new book, Liberal Fascism. Jonah Goldberg, back in a minute.